Q-Tip is one of the greatest and most influential hip-hop producers of all time. Born in New York, New York, he helped introduce the world to East Coast jazz rap, and his group, A Tribe Called Quest, helped to popularize it. The centerpiece of Q-Tip's production setup was the MPC 3000. In the interview with Scratch Magazine from 2008, he says, I usually come up with a sketch on the MPC 3000, he explains. Then I shoot it to the guys. Then they take it and play with it. And I take what they do sometimes and chop it up. So it was always going through processing. It will morph and change to become whatever it was meant to become. And that way, jazz was a little bit of an inspiration, especially with the way Miles Davis was so organic in what he did with his band. He'd go for certain colors and certain vibes, like a painting. Making music is like that, with the palettes, the colors, the tones, and the hues. The next centerpiece of Q-Tip setup was the SP-1200 and the S950 combination. According to Q-Tip in the Movement interview in 2009, he was asked, the one thing that always told me something was the Q-Tip production with the drums. What kind of equipment did you use? The SP-1200 for drums, for the loops, the Akai S950. That's something that Large Professor put me onto. I just like the snap of it. For me, I was always into big drums with a 10-like smack of it. Q-Tip also used the MPC 2000 XL. You can see him on the cover of his album holding it over his face. In my opinion, Q-Tip helped to make the MPC 2000 XL as popular as it is today due to that cover. Q-Tip also used the MPC 2500. You can see him in his video using it. Q-Tip also used the MPC Renaissance. You can see him in his video using it. If you can't tell by now, Q-Tip is a huge Aka fan. He also used the MPC 4000 and the MPC 1000, as well as other brands like the Rolling Phantom. In his January 2008 remix interview, he says Q-Tip goes even farther with oral textures than he did on open, trying numerous methods to get the sound he hears in his head. The MPC 3000 has been his main workhorse, recorded engineer Blair Wells says. But there was a period where he went back to the EMU SP-1200 for obvious tonal reasons. He tried the MPC 4000 and the 1000 and some of the rolling boxes like the Phantom X-Series workstation with the drum pads to rework his samples. To wrap up the drum machines, Tip used the Acetone Rhythm Ace FR6. He posted this picture on his Instagram. Now let's get into the keyboards Q-Tip used. He loved using the Fender Rose Suitcase Mark 1 and the Fender Rose Bass. You can see them alongside other prolific keyboards including the Juno 106, where it's an electric piano and the Op Odyssey Selena String Ensemble on his list of gear. Q-Tip has produced some of the most critically acclaimed hip-hop albums of all time and is a top 10 hip-hop producer of all time. He's went on to produce some of the greatest artists like Nas, Kanye West, Kendrick Lamar, and Jay-Z. If you have a producer that I haven't yet done, put it in the comment section below. If you are interested in any of the equipment I spoke about in this video, I have included a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching.